when it's not billed as it's the neighbour's motorbike. So hi, I'm Payana and this is my book club and today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite people in the world in the form of Sandy Toxvig. Toxvig is a broadcaster, a brilliant comedian, and she presented the news quiz for a long time and then took over QI and more recently Bake Off. She's one of those people who's just seems nice in every way and really gives you hope for humankind. And she also happens to be a rather good children's author. So the book I'd like to share with you today is Hitler's Canary by Sandy Toxvig. Ramsey lives in Copenhagen in 1940. His mother is a renowned actress at the Royal Copenhagen Theatre and his father is an illustrator. When the German troops invade, his older brother joins the resistance and he and his best friend, who's always up to mischief, such as jumping off a balcony onto a neighbour's cow, decide to go and play practical jokes on the soldiers despite his father telling them to stay out of trouble. But as the occupation drags on and everyone starts to realise that this has become a new permanent situation, and indeed the Jewish population, which includes Anton and his family, are threatened with deportation, Bamsi and his family decide to put on a show in order to fool the Germans into looking the other way before fleeing to Sweden and helping the Jews escape. So Sandy Toxvig was herself born in Copenhagen with, from a um, Danish father and an English mother. She grew up pretty much travelling the world, for her father was a foreign correspondent. And this book is largely inspired from the stories he told her of what it was like in Copenhagen during the occupation. I actually found out quite a few things uh, from reading this novel, uh, even though it's a children's novel and I'm 30. Um, which is something I often find through reading children's books, because children's authors tend to go in to details uh, which adult authors tend not to. So finding out information like this, yeah, I mean, do, don't, don't hesitate to read children's novels, even if you're an adult, because there's, there's always something to be taken from them. Because it turned out the Danish Jews were warned of their impending deportation. Because I'd always known that n not many Danish Jews were deported, but I didn't know why. And, uh, and it turned out someone warned them in advance about what was going to happen. Um, which does kind of tie into the moral of this book, which is very much not all Danes were good and not all Germans were bad. Meaning there can be... You know, the, the, once again, we're dealing with a situation in which human beings and all their shapes and forms are involved. And whichever side you're on, there can be bastards on the good side and good people on the bad side. So this was an absolute joy to read. Sandy Toxvig is a very entertaining person and she creates these wonderfully ca colourful characters in her novels like Anton, who's always getting up to mischief. And, uh, and Bamsa with his extraordinary theatrical mother. And, uh, and yes, so it's, all, it's always worth reading children's books. It's a wonderful book for children and adults alike. And it's even made even more charming by the fact that it's told from the point of view of a child of what it was like to be uh, living in occupied Copenhagen during World War II. So that was Hitler's Canary by Sandy Toxvig.